Hi everyone, welcome to Dave's Bonsai. On today's show, what am I going to do with this? Hey everyone, welcome to Dave's Bonsai. Uh, in the sense that I have a branch that splits into two shoots in here, so I'm probably going to cut this thing off right about here this fall. I've taken my uh, knob cutter and I've gotten rid of some of that. So I just put them on the bottom, growing upwards into the we bag. We the trees and then we water as we need to. We try to get rid of those air pockets. Last time I started my uh, next video footage, the camera dropped off the tripod because my attachment wasn't on there the appropriate way and the camera broke. Fell to the ground. I, I lost the ability to see what I'm filming and even get things rolling. So I'm uh, not going to say no to uh, make another video because I just like to do them. So here we have my trusty iPhone. Let's see what we can do with this guy. So I have a Fujian or Fukian T. Seems like I see it pronounced mul multiple ways. Fukian T. With what looks like a massive growth spurt. And look at that. Look at this guy right there. This is the definition of of, of long and, and leggy. And we got all this stuff going on. It did nothing for the first six months or so. And then all of a sudden this year out on the porch with the rainy year we had and a little bit of warmth in the summer here in Minnesota. But it all of a sudden just started taking off a few weeks before we were going to lose the summer warmth. And it started getting leggy. I brought it into the plant room. And in here it never gets below 65 or so. Up towards 80 sometimes. And yeah, it has loved the transition. All the big leaves have fallen off. We got some of the leaves that are dying and falling off right here. So a lot of the big leaves have fallen off. There's a few in here. But these uh, leggy branches are going crazy. We got to do something about that. Time to give it a trim. So it's time to say goodbye to the uh, trusty house. A present from Greece, from my daughter. That trip was a success. It's been fun to have that underneath here. I've got some moss right here. I'm not going to repot this guy, so I think I'm just going to leave that there for right now. But as I work on this tree here today and in the near future, I'm going to go ahead and you know get rid of some of the dead leaves. We're going to clean this guy up just a little bit here. So we got to get rid of all this stuff sitting below the tree. So I've had a tough time with this Fukian tea of knowing exactly what to do. I'll get rid of that. I, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one. One of the things that uh, is highly recommended when you're working on bonsais is to uh, look at a whole bunch of pictures. You try to make the plan for your tree. Make those decisions based on, hey, where is this tree going to look maybe four or five 10 years down the road. So I purchased this tree with a gift certificate from my kids. So I didn't really spend a ton of money on this one personally. But of course I want to keep it alive, make it thrive. So I'm a little leery of just like chopping some things off. Um, although there's moments when I look at this thing and wonder what I should be doing. It's got this really big S curve. Nice movement here, right? We got this great big curve around up there. Um, not sure what to do with that. This is kind of the back of the tree, I think, from when I transplanted it last. And I think this was the front. But when I look at this front right now, let me get over here where I have a more neutral background here. Um, I got all this stuff coming right out at me. And so I don't know if when I repot this thing, not today, but do I tilt it back a little bit. Now you can see the trunk. You can kind of see what's going on. Blocked. You can kind of see it. The other thing I'm wondering about is maybe changing the angle of how that grows out from the ground because see right here we have what's almost a straight up and down shoot and then it starts to curl and go crazy. We don't often, unless we're having a very formal upright, want a nice just perpendicular to the ground with most of our trees. Oh, well, it's a little bit to the left. It's almost straight. So I've been thinking about that too. With that in mind, 
I'm gonna put a little uh, rock underneath this uh, pot to see, right? Uh, put your chunk of wood, a rock, something, and change the angle of this tree. Perhaps I have it way angled like this, so I've got more of that pronounced angle. Of course, you have to imagine a flat surface here, right? Kind of hard to see sometimes what to do. So there's that side. Well, here's the same thing with the other side. New angle here. I bring the trunk right more perpendicular right there. Is that enough of an angle? Maybe even more. Maybe this has to be really pronounced like that. So there's another thing that I could do with that tree. So before I go crazy and chopping off all these branches, I really kind of have to decide what I'm going to do with this tree. This branch back here can maybe come way forward. See if I bend that way forward, maybe I have to tilt this more this way. For this, what was the back before, maybe that can become the front. So I have to look at my tree at a whole bunch of angles to see what I might like. What if I look at the tree from this angle? Get rid of this branch here. There, there's, there's the trunk. And if I slant it this way or that way, you know, move this guy. It's going up, I can, but then this comes right at the viewer again, so then I push this whole thing this way. I don't know if that's going to work. So one of the things I do know is that if I just shorten every branch, you'll notice here the nice growth here in the last few months, and that looks like it's starting to harden off and get pretty woody looking, right there where it started. It's growing really, really far, really, really far. But then down towards the bottom, we start to lose some of that woodiness, and then down even further. Further, there is that green right there. That's not woody. So we can cut this thing back all the way to about that area where we just keep that firm wood growth and we probably won't have a lot of dye back there. And there's plenty of, uh, plenty of branches there that could go up or down or left or right here if we cut back to about here. Or we can go way back to here and then let it split off from there. That's true with all of these extra branches. So I could just go shorten it and give it a little trim all the way across the board. But I'm still not quite ready to do that yet. I think I have found my first cutting point. Maybe. So if you will notice right up in this region up here, I got this thick branch up top. I got this one going down. But then there's this new growth right here. Well, we know that multiple branches, even two is going to perhaps create a bulge right here. So this is the new growth and it's also growing straight down. We don't like a lot of straight down branches in our bonsai trees unless you curve it up and bring it up a whole new direction, but I've already got these two branches established so I'm probably going to cut this guy off first. Just for a point of reference now, that branch, that skinny small one right there, the one I was going to cut off, if I were to bring this thing and plant it that way, it's no longer straight down. But that looks like a little bit too bold of a move. So even if I tilt it up that high, it's still straight down for the most part. I think we'll cut that one off. I'm ready to take that one off. Really tough angle to get that closer, so I'm just gonna have to leave it there for now. All right, that one wasn't such a bad choice. Cut off a lot of these branches up in here. This guy coming down here, this one here. This guy splits off nicely into two here, and then I got this new growth going up, growth coming out over here. This all is coming right towards the camera, right towards the viewer. So. Now looking at this tree, this does seem to be the best side to have as the front if it wasn't intended to be the front before. And as I look at the tree, I'm still confused as to what I thought the front was going to be before. Not to worry, we repot and change trees all the time. I just got to figure out if this is going to be the final look. And if it is, I still have all this real thick stuff right here. That's also right in my face. But all that all that work on those back branches back there, all those nice splits back there. You see that? 
I mean, look at that. We got a nice curve here. It's kind of like an L shape. It's kind of odd, but we got a nice split there into two. Got this guy sitting right here in the middle from way down below. But there's some nice movement there, so that maybe should be the back. But if it is the back, I have this guy right here. Look at that sticking right at us in the face, too. Would I cut him off? But if I cut him off, there's nothing on the branch for a while. It goes way back over there. So maybe I don't want to cut him off. Maybe if I don't cut him off, that makes this the front. So if this is the front, can I take this and really yank it back? Can I bring this over here to really see the flow of that trunk? Uh, you get the idea, like I am, that this is just a really tough decision, and maybe just shortening all the branches right now is the best decision. Well, let me take a couple more peeks round and round on the turntable. Regardless if this is the front or maybe the future back, these are all just way too long. And so, right from the get-go here, let me just cut those off right there. They're all similar length. If I choose this one instead of that one or this one, I can do that. And down here, this is the main branch going down from this curve here. The, the curve goes up like that, and then this comes down here nice, and then it splits into this, but it splits straight down in here. Of course, I could always bring this up or something. So I can either get rid of this completely, and this is my upward motion, which is what I think I'm going to do, because I'm not going to keep this going trailing down right here. So I actually want to come in closer, and this one, I don't want. I don't want that thing trailing way down here. This thing already curved so massively already, and if I have this big branch coming down here, that's just not going to be in the right place. And then if this is my new growth, this particular branch does not have a lot of hardening off yet. Same thing is true on the other side here. This thing comes down so far. and. I'm going to keep some of this here, but I will never keep it this long. I'm going to go down to where it gets woody and cut that off. One of the other things I want you to keep an eye out too with me is we want taper in our tree from the biggest part down here to thinner, 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 and thinner. And right now, this trunk is the, th the same thickness almost entirely up to here. This entire curve is all the same thickness. This up here is the next thick branch besides where it continues to flow here. So my question in my trimming this tree right now is do I cut off this whole thick branch right here and get rid of all of this and make this the new leader where this is growing nice and big and robust up here? does this become the new leader right back in there so then you got this nice curve up here up here and then it kind of comes this way so nice movement the other option i have would be to cut this branch right here if i cut it back where my thumb is right here and I, but i got these two now growing at the viewer if this becomes the front in the end which i still haven't decided looking at both sides if that's coming out towards me i could take that off completely here or back here but then that's coming at me I don't know if you noticed since my last clip, though, I have another rock down here to pull this tree this way instead of so forward this way. That helps give me a different perspective, too. Then if I come back this way, it's kind of in our face a little bit more, but then it shows off how this could be a new leader right here. This could be the new leader. I was thinking about cutting all that off moments ago, right there. But even if I cut that off right here, this right here, all of this could become the new leader and I can maybe get this up with some wire to become a new leader. And then it's got that smoother pattern, but then I've got all this noise up front here. I don't know what to do with that still. And in the back, that fills up more of the back for some more three dimension. So I have to look to see really what, and again, my trick right now is trying to envision this thing down the road. I'm taking out some of the bigger leaves that I know I'm not going to leave, need, where there's a whole bunch of thickness with growth as we take away a couple of the big leaves here. Because the way this uh, Fukian tea grows, there's all kinds of uh, 
branch potentials coming out of this one area right here. Kind of like an azalea shoots in five shoots. This is shooting in multiple shoots of uh, foliage here, and we can rip them off and get a better view. Look at this one right here. Stuck and curled around. So from this angle though, this is still that double here where I cut that small one off. What do I do here to smooth that out? Do I get rid of this guy in front and then without this right here, does that become my new split of my tree and I still keep that split there? And make this still the leader and trim this up a little bit because this is coming right at me in the face. Whereas if I take this guy off, that was one of my other options from the other side. Now, on my other side, I'd probably want to leave that one on. So part of me wants to figure out how I can get more growth thickness down here. And these branches here and here will provide more thickness here. Then I have a gap here, so it'd be nice if a new shoot would come out in here somewhere where I could get some thickness here. But all this right here is already as thick it is it is, it is down here. And that could create some reverse taper if I'm not careful. So I'm glad there's not a lot of extra branches right here, but now I have to make it go somewhere. So I think I've made a decision. I do tend to like this front better with this curved branch right here. I love the movement there. And then I've got this branch back here that I can manipulate up. And these two will thicken this area up a little bit, or I take that back one down and I leave this one. And this one splits off right here. There's growth down here. There's a big growth right here. And the one my finger is right here with a little tiny area back there that could grow. I can bring these back down um, and figure out how tall I want those all to be. So I can keep all those growing. So this one has to go because this one's staring right at us in the face. So we're going to take my glasses off here to get a good old clean cut. There we go. That one shot right off there. Get nice and close to prevent you know, bad scarring. I want good scarring down the road if this branch even stays here long term. So right there, I can see more of my tree better already. And that looks kind of nice. I see this whole nice pattern here. So I've got this curve here, and then this branch goes here at this curve, this branch goes there, then it comes up here, and I could tighten up the curve and just cut it right there, and that can be the new leader. Or like I said, I can leave this right here. Now, what I'll do for you here is I'm gonna grab this branch right here and then bring it way up like this. So now I've got this right here, which again, it gets thinner here. This could become the new leader, and this guy could cut back a little bit, but it can, provide some kind of more triangular shape up here with some thickness here. These come up here. So that I could move up like that with some wire. But then I'd probably have to get rid of one of these or both of those because I have a branch right there growing. So I don't need that one right there. If I got that one going right there pretty good and we have this right here. Or I can cut this whole thing off and we have our tree like that. Got a nice little curl here, got some growth here. You know, we could twist it a little bit. So a couple more decisions to make. So if this is what I'm thinking is my new front, we got this guy growing seven, eight inches to the left from way underneath here. We can get rid of that one. And it cleans that up in that back. So that looks pretty nice. This guy right here is growing. It's getting slightly woody down here. I'm just going to cut him shorter. So from all sides it looks better. This still looks too busy as the front. I think we're spreading it out nice to have some good movement up here. This one will not work growing straight up like that. So I'm going to cut it down here in the hopes that maybe the branch grows out this way. Directional pruning. And the one behind it back here, which might make it too thick too fast, I'm just going to cut it a little bit shorter. This 
still in a lot of dilemma, spinning this thing around a lot of times while I turn the camera off. I've cleaned up a couple sections here, some of the bulgy old growths. There's one down here. I don't want that growth going down. Clean that up. Cleans the line of the branch more, but this branch might come off actually. These two out here, way out here, I'm just going to cut those shorter because right now they're just way too long. Up here, I'm going to cut this one shorter, this one shorter, this one shorter. This one back here is probably going to come off. I can get, and it's back when you can't see a cut that shorter. I could stop right here. I could let this thing grow and see what's going to happen next. But I still need to clean up a little bit. And part of it is this clunk back here that is maybe, maybe it's filling it up nice from back, but there's a lot of growth in there. And I'm trying to, again, get rid of some of these bigger, bigger leaves. You get rid of the bigger leaf and you can see where it's growing. See which angle we have in here. I'll try to zoom in on that one for you. So right in here, Got get this one grown out to the camera. And if you'll notice, right at the crotch of that branch is this guy, a couple leaves. Clean up that a little bit. So I got a little growth right here and this branch here that took off. And this one could take off too if I balance them out. So if I cut this one back even further, <clears throat> now I got this one at about uh, two inches and this one just starting a new bud here. Maybe I'll get some growth here. But when you look under the leaves, that's where this tree grows very, very bulgy. I'm going to clean up a branch that didn't survive there. I'm going to clean up a branch that didn't survive there. And so you can see I get this kind of real thick base to these branches. And so this is all growth, this right here. That was all new and 7, 8, 10 feet long. But I got two right next to each other. Which one do I keep? Well, from this angle, I'm going to see this one first, not that back one, but they split in a nice direction here. This one will go this way and this one will come back over here. So I'm just going to leave them both there for right now, I think. And I got this one going down. Then I got this one here that splits into two right there as well. And from the front view, that does nothing. These two guys right here. I got these two split right there. So. Part of me wants to cut one of those off. And I think I'm going to go with the inside one. So there you see I have a cleaner. And it goes from there to there. And then this one comes back over here. And this is hard to see from this angle with the camera, but yet this one growing backwards completely. I'm talking about growth, but it is a really weird junction up here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one completely off, which makes this the new leader of that one. So it got some nice curve back towards the front. This one we might have end up having to wire up a little bit more. So I'm not sure. So this is a big curve back around, very cool. Or it just can curve this way and go back up. So however that grows in the future. cleaned it up a little bit. So that is certainly a haircut. And as I said, I may put some wire here and these will just have to wait to grow and see what they do. Cause I may cut this one off to use, utilize these two back here. Boom and boom. Cut this one off right here. And that'll be the new main branch there. Or this is going to become the leader. And we'll cut this off. I think I'm going to stop right there for today. I've given this thing a massive haircut. Still don't know where this is all going to end up. I'm going to wait till I transplant it though uh, next spring after it gets more growth this winter and we'll check it out for there. So another tree trimmed, taking a peek at from multiple directions. We thinned it out and we'll leave it there to let it grow. That's it for another edition of Dave's Bonsai. I'm Dave Weiss and we'll catch you on the next one.
welcome to Dave's Bonsai. Uh, in the sense that I have a branch that splits into two. Shoots in here, so I'm probably gonna cut this thing off right about here this fall. I've taken my uh, knob cutter and I've gotten rid of some of that. So I just put them on the bottom, growing upwards into the we bag. We fill up with trees and then we water as we need to. We try and get rid of those air pockets. 